There's a bump coming right oh, up oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. They're like, yeah, no, we don't want to do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's too fast. I'm Jeb Corliss, professional skydiver and base jumper. Base jumping and skydiving has been my thing for over 25 years. And to help me reach some of the more remote and beautiful locations for my jumps, I bought an RV from Lisson in Iowa. I thought I would drive it back to my home in California as quickly as possible. But when my buddy Matt found out, he came up with a different plan. Several, in fact. So instead of point A to point B, the road back west would be filled with interesting people and adventures I would never imagined. <laughs> I'm Jeb Corliss. We're on the ground for Outside TV. We're gonna kind of look at where we're headed. We drove from Forest City down, and we're here in Missouri. How many miles is that, do you know? A lot. <laughs> it is a lot. Being that we're on, we took the Lewis and Clark Trail in, you know, they probably rode in horses. We're gonna go check out some famous horses today. I'm John. I'm Matt. How are you doing? Very Good nice to, meet to meet you. you. I'm Jen. Tell us about where we are. The Warm Springs Ranch in Boonville, Missouri. Okay. The home of the Budweiser Clydesdales. I've always been a little scared of horses. When I was a little kid, my grandpa had a horse and it bit me and it kind of like pushed me against a wall and kind of crushed me a little bit as a kid. And they always kind of freaked me out. How tall is he? They're measured by hands as 18 hands, which is about six foot at the shoulders. And all of a sudden, I'm like looking up at it. You know, I'm 6'3", so when I see horses, it's usually eye to eye. This is the first time I've ever looked at a horse like this. Like, and they are so big. So how old would this, would this? Uh, Jed is, uh, what is he, seven? Jed, huh? No, almost named after you. I know, my, <laughs> mine's Jeb, but you know, close. I'm pretty close. My life dream is to take care of horses, see them as babies when they're born, and then when they go on the road doing parades, it's an awesome feeling. And where are we taking him? So we're going to hook him up to a sl work sled and go exercise oh, really? for a little while. So when you put him on the sled, that's so that they can get exercise? Yes. We're going to go grab the other one while we're here, and then we'll have two of them ready to go. Now I'm all inside with two of them. How much do these guys weigh? They're like 2,000 pounds. I'm like, oh, so I'm between 4,000 pounds of animal that can just squish me like a little bug, right? I think Jeb's taken to the hairdressing. What do you think? I, well, Maybe I, a new career? There you go. You need a new groomer on staff? <laughs> How's it going, bro? He's ready. You ready? <laughs> I don't like being behind them because I'm afraid they're going to kick me. But the, with the Clydesdales, you have to be behind them all the time. But these two horses were so gentle. Oh, wow. Come on, big guys. Wow. Look at that. These guys are strong. All righty, here you go. You take oh, he's going to drive? Oh, absolutely. Do I just, go right a little bit? Oh, just came, kind of go right along this way Oh, here. go right here? OK. Now just pull on that one there. Just, there you go. Oh, wow, just they really do turn as you pull. So is this, would this be considered two horsepower? Two, yeah, absolutely. But I think each one of them is probably, like, what, a, at least four regular horses? <laughs> Is there a max payload that they can pull that a horse should be able to pull twice his body weight? Oh, wow. To be able to actually control them and, and drive them was an absolutely amazing experience. Okay. Okay. He's to go ahead and turn, pull his okay. weight. Yep. Pull, pull that one there a little bit, too. Oh, 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 there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Calm down. <laughs> There's a bump coming right oh, up oh, here. Oh, 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 <laughs> Easy. We came across like this big ditch, and they were like, no. And they, tur and they, they turned on their own and went around the ditch. You know, the first self-driving cars were these guys. <laughs> They're like, yeah, no, we don't want to do that. <laughs> this is actually quite cool. I have to be honest. I'm, this is not something I ever would have imagined doing. It would be very romantic to do this in the snow together at some point. Uh, I, I have to be honest, Matt. You're definitely picking some weird stuff. <laughs> I mean, I would never. Oh, in... we've only just begun. It's funny to call things adventures, you know? But it kind of is, because you don't know what's coming. You're not really sure what's coming around the next corner. You're not sure what's going to happen. And when you don't know what's going to happen, it does become kind of exciting, and it does become kind of a little adventure. It's been an interesting experience so far. So should we go a little bit faster? 
Show us what you got. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, that's too fast. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That was awesome, guys. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it, man. Yeah, no, that really, was Really, you have a great job. No, it's, you do have a great job. When I was coming on this trip to pick up my RV, I really wasn't expecting to face fear. And these were the first horses I've come in contact with where I felt comfortable. I felt they were just so gentle and so friendly, and they were majestic. They were just beautiful and big and amazing. And I was just like, wow, I love these horses. I mean, I would keep this horse as a pet. I couldn't fit it in my RV, but it's still a cool horse. <laughs>